In quadrilateral QRST, diagonals QS and RT intersect at M. Which statement would always prove quadrilateral QRST is a parallelogram? So let's draw out QRST. Remember, when you are drawing the quadrilateral or any kind of shape uh, where they list out the vertices, uh, always draw it in either a clockwise or counterclockwise orientation. So I'm going to draw this in a uh, clockwise orientation, Q, R, S, T. And uh, here it says that Q, S, and R, T, which is a diagonal here, it intersects at M. Uh, try to draw this a little nicer. Okay, so what has to be true about the diagonals in a quadrilateral if um, the quadrilateral is a parallelogram? Well, the diagonals have to bisect each other, and let's see if we can uh, find anything similar to that here. It doesn't appear to be so. So let's go through the list. TQR, angle TQR, and QRS are supplementary. That has to be true, yes. Uh, however, um, that alone is not going to be enough to show that it's a, uh, a parallelogram because I can certainly draw something like this where these angles are supplementary. And um, so again, I can have something like this. So again, TQR and Q. R, S, oh actually, no, so this, so let me draw, redraw that, so it should look something like this, Q, uh, R, S, so, ah, sorry, so something like that. So again, TQR and QRS, okay, they are supplementary. However, this is not a parallelogram. QM is congruent to SM. QM is congruent to SM, and QT is congruent to RS. QT is congruent to RS. So these two are congruent, and these two are congruent. Is that going to be enough to prove that it's a parallelogram? That is not going to be enough because uh, we, well, what has to be true is the two triangles, TQM and uh, RSM, those two triangles should end up being congruent inside of the parallelogram, which is what option two is trying to go for, but uh, that's not really the case here. Okay, so we can't have that, so that doesn't work. Option three, QR congruent to TS, and QT congruent to RS. Yes, that would work. QR congruent to TS, so opposite sides are congruent. Yeah, that would work. Option three. Let's see why option four would not work. QR congruent to TS, and QT parallel to RS. So option four would have worked, if it said that QR was parallel to TS. And it's just, so the statement is, we have at least one pair of sides that are parallel and congruent. But we cannot have two different um, sides that are, um, that are congruent and another side, uh, a different pair of sides being parallel. So the only one that makes sense is option three.